What's going on? It's GM Fit here and welcome to my first YouTube video in ages. <laughs> um, I have decided to start a YouTube series. Um, now most of you guys probably know me from, from Instagram at GM Fit and um, shout out to everyone who came over here from my Instagram account. Um, I have been posting regularly on there but I thought that it would be a little bit more authentic and I would get to know you guys and you, you guys would get to know me a little bit more personally um, if I started documenting my journey to the bodybuilding stage in 2021 um, here on YouTube. So the goal is to um, start uploading at least once a week, maybe even twice and show you guys what my training looks like, my nutrition and maybe also my everyday life. So I don't want to limit myself only to fitness content um, I really want to try to keep it, keep it interesting. So um, if you guys have any suggestions for content or topics you guys want, want covered, just put them in the comments and um, yeah, let me know. I'm about to do a push day. Um, got my intro workout ready right here and I'm going to take you through it. And um, yeah, let's get the series started. I'm hyped. Okay, so I thought I would start this little series by taking you through my workouts so you can see what I'm really doing at the gym. Um, this is my first push day out of two for this week. Um, it has a shoulder focus, so majority of the movements will be shoulder movements. And um, what you can see me do here is uh, crucifix lateral raises, um, really focusing on those lateral delts. Love the contraction in these. Uh, I'm doing the cuffed version to reduce internal joint pressure. If you're only doing the, the, the versions where you're, you're uh, holding something, try the cuffed one. It really makes a lot of difference, or it has made a big difference for me uh, when it comes to really feeling the contraction on my shoulders. Next up is a reverse banded shoulder press or high incline press. Um, as you can see, I'm using a resistance band to take off the load um, at the bottom of the movement. Um, the band is here to really adapt the strength profile of the muscle to the resistance profile of the exercise. So um, at the bottom where we are most susceptible for injuries and we are the weakest, um, it takes off a lot of the load. And at, at the top where we're the strongest, um, you will have most of the load to work with. The third exercise was a lying version of a lateral raise also a cuffed one. Um, if you haven't tried these, again, if you can find some cuffs, you can also use the ones that um, most people use for cable kickbacks. Um, just put them around your wrists and really, really feel the contraction at the top and control the eccentric portion of the movement. Fourth exercise was an inclined Cybex press. Um, really liking the contraction on these. Um, I have been avoiding Cybex machines in the past because I thought they were a bit outdated but now that I have started training on them I can see why some people love them that much. The movement patterns really really feel great on most of them. Uh, next up we have a costal pec fly, um, a cuffed version again. I'm putting the cuff around my um, upper arm. Some people might have too big of an upper arm so they have to put it put them around your forearms really trying to get the elbows as close as possible when fully contracting finish the workout with some blood flow restriction training for those that are not familiar familiar with it um, you just basically restrict blood flow um, hence the bands and um, do a high rep scheme so I did like 20 reps in the first set then 30 seconds of rest 15 reps, 30 seconds of rest, 15 reps, 30 seconds of rest, 15 reps, and that was it. Um, same for biceps, as you can see here on another Cybex machine. Um, again, really controlling that negative, and you don't want to use a lot of weight, well, you can't use a lot of weight, probably about 30% of what you would usually use for the amount of reps, um, and that will actually hurt. It's uh, a pretty painful way but, um, of training, but yeah, also finished up with some posing um, just to show you guys where I'm at right now. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm, like I said, trying to gain as much size as I can over the next year. So yeah, just uh, to show you guys where I'm at right now, shape wise. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm currently editing the video you're watching right now. 
I just want to add that on the workouts, I did two working sets on every exercise, one top set, a heavy one, like six to eight reps, and one uh, lighter one, back off set, with about eight to 12 reps, or even 15. Um, every set was taking failure. Failure meant not being able to do another rep with exactly the same technique. So no drop sets, no nothing, just uh, straight mechanical failure at one point, and that's it. Um, also want to add that, <laughs> While editing this video, I can see how uncomfortable I still am in front of the camera, which like kind of excites me to get better at this because uh, because the only experience I had previously was like uh, doing stories on Instagram, which isn't really comparable to talking for so long. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get this going because just like Instagram, that's now kind of a habit for me. Um, I want YouTube to be a habit of mine. So just uh, try to act more naturally in front of the camera and um, I'm sure it will get better <laughs> um, throughout the next few weeks and I'm excited for this whole thing. So again, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Don't forget to like the video. Um, it's a pretty short one, but um, I really want to nail the frequency now and just get the practice in. So when prep time comes to get on that bodybuilding stage, I will hopefully be in the flow with this whole YouTube thing. With that said, I'll see you in a week.